Hi, welcome back. This is part two. In part one, we got all the way up to equipping everyone. We were just ready to go, and then real life threw up all over the floor. I don't know. I haven't talked about the cats nearly, you know, it took like 145 episodes to open up about the cats, and now they're killing me, and I talk about them every episode. Satan Cat in particular is a total, total ass. Um, that's, that, well, um, we'll, we'll make a soldier example for Satan Cat here. Um, I'm gonna pick on you, Shouten. Oh no, we need someone with a nickname. <clears throat> it's not happening this level. Anyway, um, Anyway, we'll have we'll have a whole diagram about the cats. The cats will become oh, I know. Our our uh, sleeper agents will be named after our cats when they reach the appropriate level. Strike one. Prepare for landing. Okay. At least I hope I got everything worked out. China for the next operation. Escort VIP and the alien artifact, the extraction point. The VIP is carrying the artifact, so... That just makes it a little more complicated. Um, eliminate any resistance. VIP must survive. Whoa, that's a high-res jacket. My contacts. No one who fears reprisal would make an entrance like that. Not so different from killing a man. It won't take long for them to realize I'm missing. Especially since I've got this thing with me. If you take me with you, it's all yours. <laughs> Not so different from killing That's a man. man. Every and time I kill a man, I throw the gun on the ground. Get him back to the extraction point That's where I leave it. His former employers, not I'm like, yeah, invaders, psh, these things only hold one bullet anyway. New objective received. That's what makes me a true assassin. Thanks, Zhang. I, 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 I'm not sure yeah. where my boss got this thing. But he was taking offers from a variety of bidders. Regardless uh, of their intentions. Uh, it says for health, and yet... <clears throat> It does not look like four health to me. All right, look at our heavily armored bras here. Let's see. Oh yeah, you're gonna be Satan Cat. Okay, so I prefer to work Zang up one of the side corridors here. Um, I don't think they're high enough to give you height advantage, but um, you can really get flanked out here. That said, um, an LMG can control a lot of the graveyard um, from this position working its way along the ground. Uh, up on the side too, but <clears throat> with the LMG's low mobility, working forward might just be the more reliable method. So... What first? Here is our laser rifle. I would love to get the LMG in this position. But I want to make sure it's safe. I'm rolling. So we're just going to blue move here. <clears throat> but that's not enough. Um, We've gone forward enough, but we have not yet gone enough to the side to ensure that we're not making a huge mistake. Now we have the LMG spot all picked out. We can dash a soldier. All right, her coverage is gonna be pretty sick. Let's see. Aye, aye, Commander. Privates. On the move. Form a nice protective triangle. On the move. <clears throat> 
while their superiors will try and hide him on this side. Hostile forces about to hit your position. All right, we caught one with Overwatch. Too bad we missed. I'll get him next time. I was gonna say that was not a call-in. that. Very good. Very good, Privates. Trooper Cook has earned a promotion. I believe. Laser rifles do 5 damage, plus or minus 1. Um, it's got a 50 per... I believe it's pretty much a 50% chance to do 5 damage and a 25% chance to do 4 or 6. <clears throat> that said, alright, we can only target one here. 50%. Let's go suppressor. The job itself seemed trivial. Delivering equipment to a predetermined drop. -off. Now we can get our flank on, but there's heavy cover in the way. We can only get the one flank. And of course, thin men are notoriously brutal. Our smoke yet as we don't have a whole ton. You know, we can actually pull back. wants to get into range, go for We're it. It's interesting that we suppress someone from beyond our range. I assume we do not get, um... Now we don't have a scout. As I believe he's, yeah, blocking us from being up here. Also, she's got seven health total as opposed to this one's five, so shift her to the back. That said, come and get some jerks. I don't think we're alone out here. We all face a common enemy. Quiet. 
I know, I know, Zang. You're a badass. Alright, Thin Men are being coy. We'll go one more round of Overwatch. I really <clears throat> should have brought a scout. You hear that? All right, they're both out in front of us. We'll hustle him over. I'm on the move. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Moving to position. Moving to Overwatch. Roger, Dodger. Roger, I've got my eyes on. We're receiving reports of heavy X ray activity in that area. Enemy forces are likely closing on your location. Was that a drop? What was that? Way to make me incredibly nervous, game. Alright. That seems unlikely. to face check the bushes but moving out okay it's just nothing it's just nothing I know there's overwatch out there saw it drop Hostiles are headed right for you. All right, the thin men are piling up out here. being the further one back. He's dead. What is your excuse? Got 
man. Man. Let that be a lesson to me. Never, ever move up. Okay, we should be able to pick at least one of these out of the air. Okay, oh, you know, I could have... I don't know, I bet cloaking negates. Let's see, do they have... Yeah. On the move. Oh god, Seekers on this map. Wow. What a shift. Um, she needs to get back with the crew. Savings right the there. Hostiles are advancing on your location. Ready up. Yeah, no, I can see him. Not feeling so good. Come on, guys. Good. Good. We broke a little morale there. So this secret up here wants to cloak. Zang, no! Hopefully it's cloak and not attack. I heard that Seekers were cloaking, flanking you, and then shooting you in the back, which was just absolutely brutal. Oh man, this mission, they have pumped this mission up. Sweet lord. Target rich environment. Okay, they can both fire on that character. Zing is cool. Zing's cool, bruh. Everyone can fire at that guy. Alright, this is a one shot kill here. That guy's toast. What about other important characters? out of ammo. I really need to get her back to cover or something. Okay, let's start with the potential for a one-shot kill. Their potential. No way. Okay, we've got to kill one of these guys. Out of the game. Looks like it's definitely going to be time for a grenade.
this shot. Negative ammo. All right, that was good. Now, every action will cost me one health. I have a little bit of health to spend. Not much. I've got three actions. Moving. What? What's that? Okay, that was me taking a point of acid damage, I guess. We're green Reload. Same deal. We're gonna flashbang this guy because we can't kill him. Headed there now. Okay, and hopefully this guy up front can't flank us. That one was scared, but that does not mean... Oh, our cover. Uh, thankfully it survived. Of course, a Seeker might pop up at any moment. Might wait a turn. They do tend to lurk. Oh, there's the Seeker. Oh, shit. Ugh, gross. They're repositioning on us! Okay, so one of the things about Seekers in Thin Men is they tend to... Give away their position. Is it on the ground? Starting to make... Dropping an AP grenade. Seemed like not such a bad idea. It is our only AP grenade. And I think we're wrapping this up. That guy's close enough for us to do a lot of flanking on. Okay, our infantry is out of ammo. Thankfully, we have lock and load. That's her one shot. Still acided. But with good accuracy. <clears throat> let's let's wrap up this guy in the back row first. Well played. And the poison is just avoiding our poor scout here. I mean, <clears throat> poor rookie. Um, let's play it safe. We'll put covering fire on him. Our sleeper will use rapid fire with the hollow targeting bonus. Very nice. or overwatch. We could be poisoned. See, they can poison our troops at any minute, which means every time you have a full accuracy shot, you should That's be incredibly grateful. That said, there's still a seeker out there, but let's just keep taking shots while we have the accuracy to do so. 
Let's uh guarantee your level up. And possibly fry this seeker while we're at it. No dice on the seeker. Got a little bit of overwatch. Oh no. She just earned a promotion, like, oh, she's dead. Oh, she lives. They automatically do one damage when they start strangling you. That would have killed her. I was not looking forward to seeing that cutscene for the first time. That said, now this guy still acided. Take the shot anyway. I'm out of firepower over here. Damn it, miss the target. Want her to live. Damn it. He's got the med kit. We have two. Kinda saving him for Zhang. Maybe not. Shame, this character is somehow hidden from this one. Let's go ahead and pull the private back. She's done her job. She is not acided. Hid. Stepping off. She's VIP of the mission. Um We'd like our sleeper back in action as soon as possible. Understandably, that is not always possible. Oh, she took two damage from the ass. I see, from the rapid fire. Of course. Still, that's what let us get the kill. Okay. Roger that. Sky shield, Commander. Cover options are poor. Affirmative. Oh, that was a terrible idea. I'm ready. All right. Well. I think he's gonna pull back. He runs up, we've got some. <laughs> some coverage. Our infantry can just keep flanking away. So we land a shot. Shot failed to connect. He will acid spit on us. Oh god, there are more. This is not what I needed. 
That is what I needed, though. He's down. LMG's been working it. Okay, pull back. Leave me alone. Okay, she's out of ammo. Oh, but we have one amazing shot left with our single ammo. We'll take it. Oh, so good. So good. Okay, we're moving her up. That did not turn out too awful poorly. She's no longer acided. Getting back up here is a chore. There's no overwatch yet. She has a med kit. She has a med kit. Already there. Character's job is mostly going to be to provide Overwatch now. She's used all her grenades, done what she can. We'll spare a med kit for our sleeper. You know the sleeper now has six base health. Um, which is pretty significant. Um, it will continue to increase. We're green to go. Okay, this is a good position. Zhang, you just stay put. I'm gonna pull her out of heavy cover to make room for someone who has ammo. Reloading. While she reloads. Drive it to the front, and our infantry will pull back to better cover. And since we're reloading our LMG, we'll let them sit up there and do whatever they feel like. All of the privates are leveling up. Yeah, that's because they've been killing things like crazy. So glad we had laser weapons, a full loadout for this mission. Moving out. Let's push a little bit. We'll hunker. I feel, Commander. Either, uh, both of these will have to sprint Time to get to up here. Um, Heading to that location. We really want her back on the front now that she's reloaded. <laughs> All right, there were two seekers and a thin man. Two thin men left. Um, that's some serious Overwatch. Okay. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Um, even though she's low on ammo, thanks to lock and load, we can reload later. Having the Overwatch is more important right now. Roger. I've got my eyes on. We'll move Zang up as we've increased our area of coverage pretty well. <clears throat> and I was going to say something about healing, I think. You really want to save um, one med pack for your VIP. At least one med pack, because if he, well, if he gets acided, I guess he can just sit there and hunker like he has been. 
Um, she won't take another shot. Four damage is about the least you can expect, and she'll only have four health. So giving her a med pack won't make a difference if she gets hit. Um, maybe Seekers do a light enough amount of damage. Her might be worth it. Might be worth it on and it could keep her from getting more serious wounds. But as she's one of the tougher characters and sleepers kind of expect to not have all the time. Roger, we will Roger, save our med kit for maybe our infantry. Oh. Oh. Oh, you would. No Overwatch guys. What is this? Slacking. Oh, come on. Everyone can see it. No one shot it. Isn't that just the way? Well, that was sad. Okay, we pissed it off. They're moving behind me. They're trying to flank us. We'll use the private's attacks first. Good to go. Reserving. Other soldiers' attacks for. Oh, damn it. Okay. Obviously, okay. she's just gonna have to pull back and deal with this herself. You really pissed off Satan Cat. Thankfully, I don't think Zhang took damage. Overwatch, I've got my eyes on. No, and thankfully, I guess it could happen again. Okay, wow, look, his movement is nothing. Catching your breath. That's how it works. Oh, come on, take him out. No. This is why we reserve better soldiers for. Uh, come on, LMG. You got this? Yes. This is why we use the rookies to try and take care of the thing first so that our forward troops could maintain Overwatch. Woo! Moving to position. Boy. This AI. Alright, breath caught. Maybe he did have four hit points? I can't tell. He's got three now, it says. Um, he doesn't show up as wounded. Solid copy. On Overwatch. We're green to go. Reload back into Overwatch. That was kind of optimal. Zang. Get Zang up here where we can actually see him. Moving. Of any kind. I've got my eyes on. I can move this character up here. Still has excellent command of everywhere except for like this one spot. Privates are not That's people we send out for the great wild beyond. I do want to reload her. Eyes on a prize. Affirmative. Covering now. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Roger, Dodger. <laughs>
moving. Seekers went straight for Zhang. We're choosing to be behind here because we could be flanked by those fast moving thin men or seekers or something out here. There should be one seeker and one thin man left. On my way. We'll keep her just out of acid range. Also could be flanked if I move there. I'm just gonna keep his Overwatch, which is making me feel incredibly safe here. Moving. Nothing. Heading there now. Got it covered. Nothing. Turn, so I want a bit of extra Overwatch. I feel, Commander. Heading there now. Roger, I've got my eyes on. On the move. Heads up, Commander. I've got an intermittent contact. It's something different from the others. Something really unpleasant. Okay, that thing is gonna be beasting up on us in a second. Her Overwatch. Okay, it'll be better to hold back, reposition. Heading out. This is definitely that situation where you're getting flanked I was talking about. Seeker doesn't strike this turn. Because the Seeker could definitely kill off my private in the back. Okay. Now we're looking better. I've got my eyes on. Moving. Okay, we want to give her a look at these stairs. I feel, Commander. Eyes on the prize. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Overwatch. Roger, I've got eyes on. Of course, the chrysalid can We're really move. Best. Our 
Overwatch is all set up in other places, but I think that was a dash for it. Whoa, laser. Damn it. There goes that Thin Man. I swear there's another Seeker out here. Alright, this is where we want you. Might as well reload. Safe moved here. You too, in case you get strangled again. Moving to position. Okay, good. You don't have another shot, huh? No need to ask twice. Move to Overwatch. Okay. Shotgun covered. Can definitely close on you. Try and lure it into our gunner's range, and then we'll blow it away. So, let's be somewhere we can see it, it can see us. Not quite, huh? Oh, it knows. However, it has to run the gauntlet of all of our laser weapons, which is a poor choice on its part. Thankfully, they don't have lightning reflexes just yet. Dead and gone. Your aggression will be your downfall, mindless beast. Alright. I'm on the move. Gonna pull back. Let's rock. Reload. Moving. Push forward. Overwatch. I'm gonna push forward. Overwatch as well. Overwatch. More Overwatch. Can't forget. What lurks in the shadows. We'll push Zhang forward. Now this looks like an awkward position. It is. But we want to be able to protect him with Overwatch while we move the rest of our squad up, so... That gives him most... Moving. Gonna push her up. Alright, we see this guy. Our gunner has nothing to say about it. I believe two shots. 36. Better than one shot at 51. Weapons dry. On my way. And move him up. Stay load. I think we've seen a lot of what the enemy has to offer this mission. So I'm gonna drop a smoke on at least those two. Right? Okay, on all three of these. She will move up and reload as Overwatch here won't do much since the heavy cover blocks her line of sight out to the right, which is fine. It also protects her. I want Overwatch for him. We'll move Zang up here. Crouch. Or we still have one smoke left if we need it for an emergency. Alright, that's why we put her there, smoked her up and overwatched 
Alright, our gunner should be able to... Excellent. Deal with this. Not sawed off shotgun time. Now, we can get a flank that may be out of range. Faster? Nope. But, should it try and move? We got a bead on it. We'll go. We do have some shots here, aided by hollow targeting. Target's still up. We of course want to maintain enough distance, we both don't get acided. Or both avoid it being acid. She'll stay out here and be bait. She's gonna pull back. Steady. Okay, I was like, oh wait, what if there's a seeker? <clears throat> we'll take a shot. As we will certainly have this guy flanked. Oh, damn it. Even in Overwatch, his coverage gone. <clears throat> I'd rather stack XP on my infantry. Alright, that was some careful thinking, but that would avoid overwatch, right? I could tell that he didn't have vision to here, but I could also tell he did have vision here. So I probably could have moved right here out of cover and been in the very first space of that Thin Man's vision. That said, because of the movement path, you take me behind heavy cover, and I can move up here into the very first rank of vision for that character. So, with my powers combined, I have a perfect flank shot from that bad boy. He's dead. And he's dead. I'm on it, Commander. Run that. Scanning. Okay. Alright. We need to maintain some squad overwatch coverage. Because I'm still pretty sh I think there's a Seeker out there. I swear I saw it. I, st I, I can count Seeker corpses, actually, can't I? Maybe I shot it out of the air. One, two, three, four. Okay, no. Maybe they're all dead. A little extra overwatch never hurt. <laughs> never hurt anybody, right? Roger, tracking. I see you, Commander. Opposition is headed towards you. Repeat, hostiles approaching your position. Mm, I hope you're dead. Yep. Nailed him. This guy. Here we go. This might avoid Overwatch, which would be great. Okay. Let's give it a shot. Look at that. Wasn't that beautiful? Wasn't that amazing? Can we get hollow targeting on this guy? Unlikely. Way too far away. However, rapid fire should make short work. 
Got him. All right, perfect. Heading out. Let's move up. Roger. I've got my eyes on. The LMG out somewhere central. All these gravestones really cramp up the style of uh, squad site units, but um, there's like a path right here that she should be able to shoot, at least on this side. And then, of course, they're all kind of concentrated, so she has okay lines of sight elsewhere. <laughs> Not gonna say great, but a hey, better than nothing. Online. Let's reload. Heading to that location. The privates are, of Move course, <clears throat> hanging out with Zang. It could be a really terrible band name. Zang and the Privates. I'm on it, Commander. On the watch. <laughs> Is something she has to do all the time. I'm on the move. Let's get eyes flanking here. I shield, Commander. Reloading is not something that character has to worry about, which makes them very nice and efficient. Roger, Dodger. Okay. Location confirmed. I'm faced with a dilemma of uh, maybe I'm leaving this guy out just hanging in the wind. Um, at this point, there's more. We're in the kind of center of the map. Um, taking one of these corner spots is, is probably ideal um, for like killing stuff in one shot, but if we miss, he could be quite exposed. So, what I'm instead going to do is actually Time place to motor. her right here. Which will give me decent coverage on part of the map that we've already covered, which of course could be dropped in on. Saying is so close. Up inside this truck. With that done, I actually am going to want some troops up here. Looks like it's gonna be you. Affirmative, moving out. Um, because this is where line of sight into the I truck you, can be found. I'm on the move. We're gonna watch. We're gonna want Overwatch all over the map. On Overwatch. That that looked weird. I'm rolling. Scanning. Moving to position. I'm on we it. want people in all sorts of positions. Moving. 
into position. Hostiles are heading your way, Strike One. Prep for contact. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. That is an excellent drop in position, Thin Man. However, there may be a flaw with your plan. Alright, you can see the more you use lock and load, the more you wish everyone had it because you've seen how many times I've used it efficiently this game. Plus, how many times have I like run her dry of ammo? Like she's gone through three or four clips. Like it becomes especially important in the mid and late game. Obviously, it's no light 'em up substitute, but um, it definitely regularly saves you actions. I think it's really good on time critical missions, but you just get you just forget how. Oh. Seriously. You forget how many times you reload each mission. I guess, yeah. Copy that. You're not out of the woods yet, guys. Cover our LMGs back and the extraction zone. Moving out. Chill. Stay close to our VIP. More Overwatch. Okay, I want to make this medic rendezvous before. That's affirmative. Sending. We've got one heal left. That's affirmative. Anyone deserves it. It's our badly wounded private here. Who withstood the pain for so long. <clears throat> now, this is probably the end of the mission. I would bet that was the last call in. I am alive. But the life I had is gone now. Journal entry, Zhang. That my life should take such an unexpected path. Turning my back on old friends to defeat a common enemy. Hashtag frenemies. The device and our contact are secure. Get back to HQ for debriefing. All right, Operation Brutal Days went off um, as well as could be expected. Um, we have one heavily wounded private. Our sleeper took some hits um, from the acid. Uh, however, uh, she has a lot of base health, so that shouldn't keep her down for long. Of course, she does have gene mods. Uh, so let's take a look. Yeah, she's out for eight days. Not too shabby, really. Um, our poor fri private. It's going to support so that no one ever suffers like she did again. Um, if she's got the uh, the mental chops, she'll make a solid command. Otherwise, she may have been impressed. She, she may be. She may really want to be a Satan cat. That said, let's go ahead and let's go over Satan cat. Here we have um, our goodies: lots of thin men corpses, chrysalid, Illyrium alloys, weapon fragment, a little bit of meld, seekers. Okay, the alloys are nice. They probably came from the Seekers. Um, the meld, I suspect Thin Men occasionally dropped meld, but it could have been the Chrysalid. And of course, the Scientist, Engineer, and Remember, Cash. We will be watching. Okay. In one day, we'll build our satellite uplink. There will be much rejoicing. That will leave us with 100 credits, which we would probably like to invest in another aircraft. Um, Let's go and see if we can order that aircraft now. Um, what 
what is our upcoming research I actually? I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. It is 12 days I've away. Put the new recruits to work in the lab. Advanced beam lasers. Um, probably want to save up for that. But I definitely want to hit six interceptors. Um, Uh, it's best that we save up our cash, really, um, because the beam lasers will be done on the 17th of May, and if we can afford uh, lasers for our aircraft, we can have them done by the end of the month instead of waiting until the beginning of the next month to pay for them. Uh, let's see. All right, we got Corporal Shaoji Shilong Zhang. Um, let's see. For Corporal, he's got high willpower, good move, good health. Um, he looks good in armor. He's got a face that no alien could possibly love. And let's see. With a uh, middling accuracy, he could go for either assault or um, infantry. Um, just a solid all around trooper. I wouldn't be surprised if he is above average. And we could get a corporal for our three laser rifles. Um, unfortunately, let's see exactly what. So 150 cash and 9 alloys is what we would trade for a corporal. Um, obviously we can't make that trade right now. Um, and I'm saving up my alloys because I'll probably need them. Yeah, uh, just not tenable. So. And our shiv will be coming out soon. Are there any little shiv items that I couldn't afford before that I meant to buy? Nope. Scopes, I think we're doing all right with the scopes we have. All right, let's see what the next mission is. Very nice, we've harnessed the very power of the earth to combat our foes. Thermo generator online. With the thermo generator online. Oh, don't forget that Stay Frosty reduced everyone's stay in the barracks by one day, which is solid. I feel like it probably shouldn't work on the um, officers themselves, but a hey. All right, and to go with the two satellites we already began construction of, we're going to build this. And we'll start launching over... Take a look at the situation room. Facilities at maximum capacity. Japan is pissed. We could just give up on Asia, or we could go deep in it to try and take Asia. Um, that, of course, means we'd be going a base assault relatively early in the game. Um. It would the possibly team is doing some tests right now that could be disruptive. I'm going to alert the staff as a precaution. Or of course we can take Brazil and South America. We have pending requests for Japan. Thirty hours left, that's not gonna happen. 160 okay, those are all gonna run their course, unfortunately. I might fight for Asia. The foundry is awesome. Um, and the upgrades are amazing. Right now we can get by with just raw increases in power, like the laser rifles, but sooner or later we're going to start refining things using the foundry. Um, that said, Europe has a lot to offer. 
Officer Training School. And we can afford our first squad size increase. Uh huh. Squad size increase is amazing. Um, it lets you not only get more experience as it's just a raw increase in experience, um, but it lets you level up more troops at a time, uh, which is so key. Not to mention that actions, uh, which are derived from the number of soldiers you have, are the most valuable currency in the game. In the game's uh, economy of play. All right, well, we spent that. We were planning. Not sure if I'm going to go into Europe or Asia. I've made so many base assaults these days um, that the cash from an early base assault would be amazing, and it might be worth it. I would probably want some more hardcore medics first. OK, this is a large UFO. It's probably going to land. Um, maybe this is that the aforementioned um, we should have gone super defensive just for theme Engaging bogey. I'm just gonna tap it to avoid the serious panic Content where is detected. it? over Mexico? let's take a look at how much panic Simulate it causes now that we've tapped it maximum capacity. it's over Mexico required. I really can't tell how much panic that is um, I guess each of these bars is 20, so Mexico is at a little over half of a bar, which is like 11 or 12. This thing is probably going to land um, if we assault it. We will be rewarded like gods. That said, our main problem is how deep our roster is and we still got a lot of people out for a lot of time oh oh 17 13 hours I don't know we could probably get these guys um, it's gonna be hairy we'll see when it lands if it lands oh it's an abduction commander we picked up multiple requests All right. for assistance. Super light abduction. In progress are marked on the hollow globe. We're going to go after it. Let's take a look at Mexico. Yeah, okay. So Mexico went from 11 or 12 to 13 or 14. That's because we didn't damage the UFO. Um, it obviously wasn't an 8 point increase, or we'd probably be up to a full bar here. So you still want to love tap everything, even if you're not going to shoot it down. And. If you are going to let it go, just know that it will increase panic just a tiny bit if you haven't damaged it. Of course, if you take anything down to 50% health, it's just not going to be effective. Um, and 50% health is marked by the massive number of explosions around the UFO. So keep that all in mind. Landing a hit or two can keep your panic low if you're in an incredibly tight situation. But we're not. So we took a little bit of panic for letting it go. Our shiv is about to complete. We have 15 hours um, until the abduction, which means that we could wait for Zoya. Um, salts are quite good to have. Um, as this abduction is incredibly light, I would like to level people up with it. So I'm going to take a good hard look at who I want to level up and how many privates I'm willing to take. Um, having laser weapons makes it easy. And uh, then we will definitely go kick ass, take names, take, all right, 16, 4 p.m. is when this puppy will go off. All right, and we get 80 cash for it. That'll move us towards another interceptor, which we, oh no, we're saving up for laser rifles. All right, so I will see you next episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe. And until then, farewell.